gentlemen of Walker Nation, this is the moment we've been waiting for. We're here with Vincent M. Ward, a.k.a. Oscar, from our favorite TV show, The Walking Dead. How you doing, sir? I'm good, man. I'm here at uh, Terracon, so I'm having a good time. Just got here. My flight was a little delayed, but, you know, I'm here now. Yeah, I was saying, if there's one guy who knows how to make an entrance, it's going to be Vincent M. Ward. Yes, I was going to come in doing the uh, Roger the Rabbit, but I was pissed because my flight was late. So, <laughs> <laughs> But it's, hey, you're here. That's what counts. And, uh, you know, Walking Dead, of course, worldwide phenomenon. Uh, your character, I think, resonated with so many people because he was, you know, in a bad place, but he was a good guy. What, what was it like playing Oscar? But you know what, though? Everybody in jail or in prison is not bad people. They just made bad, you know, bad choice or a bad mistake. But as far as playing my character, my character was a good guy. He just, again, made a bad mistake, breaking and entering to try to um, do for his family. So my character wasn't really too far from how I am in real life, except I'm not going to steal from anybody. <laughs> I just wait or you won't get it. So Fair enough. <laughs> How, uh, how far into it did you did you find out that Oscar was going to be killed off in Woodbury? <laughs> well, you know, when you first sign on, they always tell you it might be a six or seven episode, or they give you a number of episodes, but you never know. It's just like with Irony, T-Dog. They had told him, I think, two episodes. When he first started, he ended up getting three and a half years. Right. But I honestly felt like my character should have should have and could have stayed around a little bit longer because I felt like he had proven himself, and I felt like the fans had started liking him. We would have loved to see him stick around, but again, another selfless act. You know, he went into Woodbury and sacrificed himself, and I'm getting the same vibes from you that you're that kind of guy. Am I correct? Yeah, but I mean, I, it, at the end of the day, I'd rather for him to have been them than me. Fair enough. And that's just being, that's just being real. Right. I'm not going to give my life for anybody except for, you know, I have grandkids and I have kids, so maybe them or, or my parents, but, you know. I'd rather have been somebody else than me. <laughs> so at Walker Nation, we love all things horror, uh, on especially zombies, a.k.a. Walker Dead. What's your favorite zombie film? Um, maybe the, the, what, the Night of Living Dead Brains. Yeah. The, old, the old school one. I mean, of course, it's not as graphic as the ones today, but it was funny, and it's something memorable, something that you would you know, always be around. Last question. The zombie apocalypse hits tomorrow. <laughs> what is the first thing that Vincent M. Ward does? I'm moving. <laughs> uh, first thing I do is, um, I guess, find a place to stay. Maybe a prison. Right. Tony, hey, Tony, <laughs> Tony Moran said he's putting on the mask, Michael Myers mask, and he's going he's gonna to lead the charge. And he's going to be the first one to get eight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, this is Vincent M. Ward, and I'm here with my people at Walker Nation. And make sure y'all follow me on Twitter and vote me on for this season of Dancing with the Stars, season 19. All right? Peace. <laughs>